Hi, this is Elizabeth, and it hasn't been long enough for me to justify making another video again, but I'm going to do it. Right now my bedroom is a mess. All of the stuff is piled on the other side of my bed because I am in the middle of cleaning my room, and I decided I want to do this. And who am I to argue with the fates? Um, <laughs> so I am making a video about my favorite movies. Um, this is probably going to be longer, unfortunately, than the one about my favorite books. Because in the past few years, as I've talked about my terrible reading slump due to mental illness, um, consuming movies has been a lot easier for me. And it's something that I really, really love to do. It, it's some, I watch a movie pretty much every day, sometimes more than one, <laughs> while I'm doing my other things. Um, I'm just going to jump on in to my movies. There's, there's some variation here. <laughs> so I hope that... If you like some of them, you might get some other recommendations. So, up first and foremost, my what I consider my favorite movie is Labyrinth, starring David Bowie. You see I've got my poster up there, actually. Um, I just love Labyrinth. I love all of Jim Henson's creations, and I love David Bowie. It is, it's a fantasy movie. It's got David Bowie. Like I said, I love David Bowie as well. Um, it's just so great so much fun the music is so much fun i feel like they spent all of their budget on glitter for the set insane insane amounts of glitter i love it i love it so much next what should i do next okay <laughs> sorry i'm choosing um Coraline. Coraline has gotten really popular lately it's always been a you know a well-known movie but it's been my hugo gaining more popularity on the internet lately and i'm really glad um, I watch Coraline at least twice a week. <laughs> it's one of my comfort movies. I also really like the book, which I was able to read for the first time recently and have read again since then. <laughs> um, I love the story. I, it's, it's a scary story, but at the same time, I find the whole movie very comforting. Um, I love, love, love the animation. I really love stop motion um, films. So that's also a theme you'll be seeing in here. Stop motion and puppets. <laughs> Love Coraline. Next is Beetlejuice. Um, I watch Beetlejuice all the time um, around Halloween. I watch oh, <laughs> it in between, of course, as well, but mostly around Halloween. I actually was Beetlejuice for Halloween this year. Um, I really love this movie. It's ridiculous. It's, oh my gosh. It... <laughs> It's so funny. It I love the costuming and everything. I just think it's a great story. And I think it I love the ending of it especially. It's really great. Great, here comes another one. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Ah sorry. Okay. Next oh. it is Castle in the Sky from Studio Ghibli. Um I love this movie. The first time I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, I never watching another animated movie again, lest it be Castle in the Sky. <laughs> um, I really love it. It is full of action and adventure, which is something that you maybe don't think of a lot when you think of Ghibli movies, but it is, and it's so great. I love the characters. I love the artwork and animation and the soundtrack and everything. It is just great. I really, really recommend this one. It's not as popular as a lot of other Ghibli films, but it deserves to be. Okay. Two different movies on this DVD, which is a Christmas movie DVD. The first one... First one. Is there two different ones? Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I had to check. <laughs> First one is Rudolph's Shiny New Year, which if you've seen my video about... No, actually, I don't think I talked about that one in my video about Christmas movies. Well, I really love that. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is one of my very biggest comfort characters. And I really love him in that movie. Um, I like all the other characters a lot, too. I love the storyline. I love the music. It's just great. Second one, another Rudolph movie, is Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. And I really love that one because I also really do love the character of Frosty the Snowman. 
Um, so seeing two characters that I love interacting and being friends and stuff is so awesome. And I love that movie. It's got so much lore around the <laughs> Rankin Bass Christmas movie <laughs> cinematic universe. <laughs> um, I I love it so much. The music isn't as great in that one though. I've got to I've got to be honest with you. Okay. Next is The Dark Crystal, another Jim Henson movie. This one is entirely puppets, if you haven't seen it. It is really a fantasy epic. It is incredible. Incredible puppetry, incredible storytelling. I love it so much. And it's gotten a lot more popular lately as well. Um, because, well, lately meaning kind of a while, because of the Netflix series Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, which I haven't finished watching. Um, but it's brought a lot more attention back to this movie which is a great movie. I love it so much. Next. You should have seen this coming. Lord of the Rings. All of them. All of them. I've talked about Lord of the Rings a lot. I'm not gonna go into telling you everything about why Lord of the Rings is great. You already know. So, <laughs> next. Ooh, hoo 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 hoo. The Great Mouse Detective. I love The Great Mouse Detective. I love movies about mice for some reason, and I really love this one. I especially love the villain, um, Radigan, who's voiced by Vincent Price, who's one of my favorite actors. Um, this movie makes me so happy. I love it so much. I just lose my mind over it. <laughs> and I do recommend it if you like Disney movies or movies about mice or Lots of lots of things. It's I don't know, that's a really specific niche, um, <laughs> but it's my specific niche. <laughs> Next up, we're getting a little more embarrassing right now. Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolf Man. Best Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. It's so good. It's so good. The music goes so hard. So good. <laughs> this movie is one that I watched a lot when I was little and then we bought it on eBay last year because I was like, I really, really want to watch that movie again. So we got it. No, actually, we got this one at a thrift store and then we bought Alvin's Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein to complete our collection off eBay. He's back. <laughs> it is great. It's very funny, honestly. Um, Alvin and the Chipmunks gets a bad rap because of Man, those modern movies are not very good. But you should watch this movie. It's great. It's great. Okay. Next is Howl's Moving Castle, another Ghibli movie. I think everybody knows this one, but it's just so beautiful to me. And it's so comforting. It makes me really happy and really sad. And it, it just feels so nice to watch. I love it. Okay. Here comes Peter Cottontail, another Rankin Bass movie. Um, and right now, because it's getting closer to Easter, I'm watching this one a lot. It's making me so happy. Um, I love this movie. It it also has Vincent Price, um, as well as Danny Kay and Casey Kasem, who is the voice of Shaggy in Old Scooby Doo. Um, I love it. I love the storytelling. I love the music. I love the voice acting, because I love all three of those <laughs> actors. Um, I really. I really like this movie. I was, I was Sassafras, one of the main characters in this for Halloween the year before last year. Uh -huh. Next is The Black Cauldron. This is possibly my favorite Disney movie. It is really underrated. This was, this movie terrified me when I was little. Um, it I might talk about in the future. It's funny, actually. Um, but it is so great and really underrated. Um, I love the characters and I love the book series that it is based on. The Chronicles of Prydain by Lloyd Alexander. Um, I haven't, I read all of them but one because it's hard to find these books because they're not super popular. Oh, get out of the way. Um, I really recommend this movie. Next is Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which this one I did talk about in my video a while ago. Um, I love this movie so much. I just think it is so beautiful. I love the music and the characters and the stop motion animation. Um, the character Jessica in this movie, her over there, is one of my favorite characters. And I love her song in the movie. And I'm actually making a doll that looks like her right now. So I'll show that when I'm done. 
Um, next is Alice in Wonderland, another great Disney film. Everybody knows this one. I just love it. I wish it was longer. I watch it. I am enveloped. I am comfortable. It's good. Um, I've always been obsessed with this one. <laughs> and last but not least, yes, that was a lot of movies, is Paranorman um, by Leica Studios, the same one that made Coraline, cats doing something. Um, I love that. <laughs> I've been watching this one a lot more lately um, because I've been on a Coraline kick, but you can't watch Coraline twice a day every day. So sometimes you got to switch it up and watch Paranorman instead. <laughs> um, I really relate to Norman's character. I think it's just a really interesting story and it's very funny. Um, I think it's so great. Uh, I love the art and animation. I definitely recommend this movie also. Okay, so I really had to narrow down, believe it or not, narrow down my choices for this video. Um, but if you're interested, I might make a part two with other movies that did not quite make the cut, but I still love a lot. So let me know if you are interested in that. Um, if you like any of these movies, um, or movies that you like, that you think I would like based on these. I would be very interested to hear your recommendations. That is all for now. Goodbye.